Hello, this is Brighton TV and Brighton drew 1-1 with Chelsea. And Potter made a few changes to the lineup from the Bournemouth win. And I understood that Jahanbach and Duffy were dropped for Webster and Alzate. And we, Potter tried to change things up. I understood that. But his changes weren't the best. Some things where we were playing, our style, it wasn't as good as what it could be. And I think Potter understood that because Chelsea, they dominated us in the midfield and their goal came from a corner and we just couldn't clear it. And it was just such a scramble and they scored that in the 10th minute. And that was really annoying for us. And for the next few minutes, nothing really happened. And uh, Dan Bunn, when he got injured, I think that actually changed the game a bit because that forced Bernardo to come on. And Chelsea, they weren't as good at attacking us down that side anymore because Bunn, who's such a good, um, who's a great centre back, but playing against Willian, he just couldn't do it. But Bernardo, when he came on, he, it changed the game, in my opinion. And then, on the 40th minute, we had a chance um, pass to uh, Neil Malpai. Malpai was down the left-hand side. He passed it to Trossard, and Trossard's shot. It was an amazing save by Kepa. And then it went, um, the ball, it went back to Montoya, and Montoya shot, but that was well off target. And in my head, I was thinking, oh, Basuma should come off for Connolly so we can be more direct. And that's what happened. Connolly came on for Basuma at half-time, and what a difference it made since that made us change our formation to more of a 4-2-2-2. And that just made us have two real strikers who could, knew what they were doing. And that changed the game. And then um, we had uh, so many chances where we were, had just had controlled attacks and Chelsea couldn't do anything about it. But the problem with us is that we never really shot from them, which it was a problem. But then a massive change for us near... Uh, Ali Reza Jahanbach came on for Aaron Moy and I think he changed the game. He made us play with uh, two wingers and our width, that was what helped us so much versus Chelsea. Chelsea, they couldn't really cope with our width anymore since before we were playing really, really narrow and uh, Chelsea were controlling us down the uh, wide areas. But when we started playing with two wide players, Chelsea couldn't do that anymore and that made Chelsea really, really uncomfortable. 79th minute, we had, we had a few um, set pieces, some of them whipped in and good, uh, we had scrambles and one time uh, Connolly he shot but it was a great save by uh, Kepa to keep it at 1-0. Then, um, 82nd minute, it was Trossard with a free kick in a uh, crossable position. He uh, did a short pass to um, Alzate, and uh, Alzate passed it back to Trossard, and Trossard shot. And I was thinking, what a waste of a set piece. That was a great chance for us to go and get a goal, but it was wasted. 84th minute, we had a corner, and Trossard whipped it in. I think it was Dunk, who ended up heading back into um, the... Uh, middle of the box and Jahanbach, what a goal, overhead kick, I, he, for last season he couldn't do anything, he was so poor, this season he looks a completely different player, he scored two in his last two and he, what a goal from him and that ended up making us back into the game 1-1 and we, we didn't just stop there, I think last season we would have tried to hold back, uh, keep, get a point, this season we weren't trying to do that, we tried to attack, we kept on attacking, we were looking for the winner but we just couldn't do it. Um, there's four minutes added time and we had, we had a few set pieces but we, we had so many scrambles in the box but Kepa, he kept Chelsea, he made so many great saves for Chelsea he ended up keeping them in the game and um, there's a free kick, last kick of the game Dunk, he shot, but he shot straight at Kepa but I was thinking if he keeps it on target there might be a scramble in the box but unfortunately it wasn't enough to trouble Kepa but that was it, that was full time and what a result it is for us 1-1 versus Chelsea um, great result for us don't forget to like and subscribe to Brighton TV and follow us on Instagram